that's the word. Oh, you know when I tell people that I knew I was going somewhere. So where? I, I don't know, but I knew that they go somewhere. I just need to get there. So that was just how it was then. You know, when I tell people that I used to trek a lot, and um, I didn't see it as anything. Like I, I'll trek from Kilo to Fadei bus stop. I'll trek from Kilo to Alaka bus stop. Because them days, I need to catch Molue from Alaka. You know Molue coming from Lagos, I, coming from Lagos Island, Idumota, yeah. going direct to Yanokbaja. Oh, yeah. They'll go through Alaka. So drop off some people at Alaka. From Alaka, they will now continue. So either you trek to Alaka to be able to get the Molue, before Standing, you, yes. Because if you get to so, my brother, if you get to uh, so your, your own, now, 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 side you go stand <laughs> for the door, you know. So, the gist is just ended. What you have just but, done now is considered map reading in geography, <laughs> my brother. I did it, <laughs> I knew everywhere, yeah. I knew everywhere, but. It was, it was from flatmates, them days. The yeah. old flatmates, flatmate. not the one that we do but now. This one is a Jebota. I was always saying, wow, Popo, man, yo. Yeah. Wow, Popo, man, yo. So everywhere I went to, people just like calling yo, yo, yo. So when I got on radio, and they said I couldn't use the name Steve on me, mm. so I just told myself, okay, why not just use yo? yo. Since already, that's what people knew, and then phew, radio just came. Radio changed you. Yeah. Radio changed everything. <laughs> it changed, and then, and then, Radio changed me, radio changed everything about me, and at the same time, I also changed radio. I will, I will definitely, definitely say that. Because the pigeon radio thing wasn't so strong then. No, Back in the days, it was BC or Lati Lodem and Co. that were doing pigeon only in, in Lagos. radio station yeah. that was doing pigeon. Yeah. That radio station, I think, Radio Nigeria 3. three. BC or Lati Lodem, Smart, Smart Otemu, Otemu, Otemu Leo Onwadi, Leo Onwadi, all of them yeah, were yeah, there on yeah, Radio yeah, Nigeria yeah. 3. Then he died. Yes, he died. He died. Mm -hmm. And then you guys came we now on came the ball. and I, he died for years. He died for years. That most children do yes. not know. Do not know so these guys I just mentioned now. That, they that don't know. There was a radio station that nah, nah, know. Nah, nah. They don't know. They don't so know. So you became the Mongo Park in yeah. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> that real the Mongo Park. <laughs> and, and you know, and just like and that. All of a sudden. Radio got interesting. Yes. It got really interesting because um, before, before, before Wazobia came, don't forget, there was, um, there was Cool FM. I'll, yeah. gi I'll give it to Dan oh, Foster. Yeah, it's the same Cool FM. Yes, it's the same, same the one family. family yes. yes, But I'll give it to Dan Foster. Dan Foster also changed the way radio no. sounded. Damn. Dan Foster changed morning radio that I yes. hold him guilty. Yes. For one thing. <laughs> That everybody now wanted to speak Sound to Sound American. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, oh, even those who went to school in England, <laughs> they would leave their British accent. accent. I want to sound Oh, American. God, but he did. He but but did. comes up to the likes of them, Steve Cadre and Co. of Blessed no, Memory. That's tick every to era. Yeah. As it's, it's, it's milestone. It's yes. great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, I've always felt the greatest broadcasters came even before I became a broadcaster. Yeah. Those guys. Ah. The Bishop Latin, you know, the man on no money. You know, the, ah. you know, man the, no money. Uh, the Ohi Alec. Ohi Alec Des. The, what's their name? The Sonny Hussein. The Sonny Rabo. The Sonny Rabo. They have something to say. It's still, still on air right now. Uh, I think with some Radio Continental. Yeah. So. You, you had those greats. At that time, it was, it was nice to speak good English. Good English, yes. You Diction know, was important. But not yes. uh, now. now. <laughs> How Everybody. do you cope? But what I want you, you know, these guys are your contemporaries. Yeah. But you are wicked. You are not telling them the truth. You are not telling them the truth. You are, you are, you are changing the world speaking pigeon. <laughs> they are not changing anything speaking this one now. Yeah, they are. I think, you I are think not they, telling them the truth. No, um, I think the only truth because that they are telling check, themselves. Check the effect you have created by just being you. Yeah. And check what they are trying to create. Mm. In fact, the younger ones, can they see you? Yeah, yeah. Are no, they more they, trendier than you? No. Uh, you? You know the good thing now is that almost every radio station 
has a pigeon radio station too. Not every radio station, yes. not almost. Not oh, yes. I think it's just two. In no. Lagos, it's just two. No. On, in Lagos? Yeah. My brother, in Lagos. In Lagos. I know of Wazobia. Yes. I know of Niger FM. Yes. Is there another one? Yeah. Now, um, Radio Continental is coming out with their own. No, that see, Max is coming see, out with their own. Coming out is no, no, no. They are coming out when I mean they are coming out matter of um, weeks. So yeah, forget it. I'm yeah, telling okay, you. They are coming then, out. Then um, Inspiration FM is coming out with their own very soon. So, soon. Pigeon. Before you know, Silverbird should have done Pigeon a long time I'm ago. Good. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't know yes. what happened. Yes. I don't know so what they are finally also coming out with theirs. So I'm yeah. trying to tell you that almost you everybody see, is coming out with you see, Pigeon you see now. The problem. You see the problem with that, eh? It's just the Nigerian disastrous marketing convention. <laughs> if it works for A, it doesn't mean it will work. They just look at it like yeah. that. So all they are trying to do is just create more yours. <laughs> it will not work like that. You did not set out to create yourself. Yes, it's true. It's Life true. is a process, like I've yes. already said. Yes. If they were smart, they would have done that a long time. Ago. But they are countless. They, refused. they are countless departments in radio. That is still left, left on, on top to yeah. yeah. What are they doing now? Because one has worked. Everyone, Everyone wants to work. Yeah. So you, you have done radio, you have done acting, you have done compare. Right now, I know you are one of the biggest event managers in this part of the world. <laughs> you not only manage, but you produce. Yeah. When we come back on 12 to 12, you tell Nigerians how you are able to multitask when you are not a woman. Well, I believe the only person that can multitask tax is a pregnant woman with two kids in the house, <laughs> husband to take your laptop to work on. But you do these things effortlessly. This is 12 to 12, where we bring it as it is. Hello, everyone. You may recognize some of the faces here from West Africa's longest running TV series. One of ours. Our patriarch, Mr. Victor Olauto, also known as Fred Ade Williams, urgently needs our help. You may recall that he was involved in a ghastly car accident in October 2016. And he was bedridden since then. This is our second public call for help. But first of all, we want to say a big and heartfelt thank you to each and every person, both home and abroad, and Mr. Femi Otedola, for contributing so generously towards the rehabilitation of our colleague. There's been immense progress. However, there's still a ways to go. As we speak, treatment has stopped because the family has run out of funds. We won't be here asking for your help again if this was something we could do on our own. As it stands, we need your help to raise the sum of $250,000 to complete his treatment. It is with utmost humility and no sense of entitlement that we ask. Bless you as you give. Um, please, did you by any chance help me to see? Ah, over there. You look like somebody that will misplace money. I'm, I'm looking for my money. Look, my friend, will you come out from my oh, from my personal belongings? What's, what's your problem? Ah, how much are you looking for? Just a token, just something very small. And then, um, please return it. Because for you to be asking me that, how much? Please, you see it. Hey, don't insult me. You know how dangerous I can get when you accuse me like that. Please, my money. That is all I'm asking for. Ah, where's your money? How much? How much are we even talking about here? Just 20 billion. 20 billion. Yes. Okay. 
Being good at something requires strength. It requires putting in more. That's why the new improved Bon Vita is packed with vitality and a richer, creamier taste. Hello everyone. You may recognize some of the faces here from West Africa's longest running TV series. One of ours, our patriarch, Mr. Victor Olautong, also known as Fred Adde Williams, urgently needs our help. You may recall that he was involved in a ghastly car accident in October 2016. And he was bedridden since then. This is our second public call for help. But first of all, we want to say a big and heartfelt thank you to each and every person, both home and abroad, and Mr. Femi Otedola, for contributing so generously towards the rehabilitation of our colleague. There's been immense progress. However, there's still a ways to go. As we speak, treatment has stopped because the family has run out of funds. We won't be here asking for your help again if this was something we could do on our own. As it stands, we need your help to raise the sum of $250,000 to complete his treatment. It is with utmost humility and no sense of entitlement that we ask. Bless you as you give. Welcome back again. And you know, I was saying something. How do you multi-tax? How do you put all this together? You are just but a man. You are just but one guy. I mean, you, this is the ones I know about. I'm sure when you start talking now, maybe Nigerians will hear more. You host your broadcaster. You host a radio show. You compare events. You're a comedian. You're an actor. You plan a pro events. A, for, a producer for movies. Where you produce movies and stage plays. Yes. Only you. Ha! You know people have done everything with only one of what you are doing. <laughs> I think. And I you, think... you are just a restless soul. Yes. I, that's I, the I word. don't think you are doing all this just for the money. I, I no, 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 no. I think, I think that's just it. For me, I, I, I'm naturally a restless person. Um, um, I'm somewhere and I'm not just, I stay two, three, four, five, ten minutes. And then we are talking, and then I cannot pick anything from what it is that we are talking about. Um, the next thing you see me just want to move, just want to move. I like being on the move, you know. When you don't trek plenty, you don't get options. <laughs> <laughs> if you go on to the waka, waka, waka. And so, so for me, um, doing one thing, and then when I am tired of it, I started off as an actor, first and foremost, and going for auditions, doing stage plays and all that. And then nothing was coming in before I now moved to radio. And then I've done radio for 12 years, 12 or 13 years now. And I'm already getting, uh, I think I have to go into movies, back to movies, not disturbing my radio work. Because the time I do radio, once I finish, I have the whole day to myself. Yourself, yeah. I can't just be seated doing nothing. I can't. So why not just do radio and then do other things? And then I decided to go back doing movies. I produced three films so far. And one last year, I've done two this year. I have two more to go before the end of the year. And it doesn't disturb my, my, the TV show I still do. And it doesn't disturb that. Everything is timing for me. Saturday, Sunday I'm, is meant to be free. And don't forget, because I love what I'm doing. I don't see it as work. I don't see it as, it doesn't burn me out. It doesn't, yeah, sometimes I just feel like, man, this brain needs to rest. rest. And then I just take time out. But when I take time out, I also don't want to be in a place where, I just sit down, just they think. <laughs> no, you are sipping alone, no? see life. Yeah, it's not my fault. Mm. The life of the rich and famous. Yeah, when you are rich, <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up. No, you're, 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 I hear we you. You know who has a recollection. <laughs> you know we have not talked about your balance. Please, I don't know uh, anything about balance. We don't, we, we, you, we, no hair under my armpit. Oh. That's what is stupid. No said. hair, no uh, hair. We no know this thing. So. Which the armpit you are showing them is very expensive. No hair, no hair. They know how expensive See, this armpit is. Go and sit down. No hair under this armpit, please. I never so, see. But then, but then you, we just you, have you to be joke. Here, us. <laughs> we'll be doing radio. And yet, you'll be ambassador to here. Ambassador for here. I never see somebody on radio that's ambassador, ambassador, ambassador. Oh, only you, ambassador. They don't even see you, but you're ambassador for their product. 
you know, I guess because you do your job very well, that's why you're on 12 to 12. Yeah. Now, there are quite a number of people I think you should talk to. Yeah. Because one thing I like about our show is this. We just don't bring the guests for the fun of it. All right. Just enjoy the vibe and, and go. For people who like to take after you, there are many. It's not about age. There are people who are EDs or bank. Yeah. All their life, all they wanted to be is just your. Mm. But somehow, now they are pursued the money, they are in a fix. People like that, anybody who wants to, how do they put this and put you together to be themselves? I think, first, first, firstly, you have to know what your calling is. Yeah, I know a lot of people that did theater in school and then they ended up in banks. Well, yeah. I know a lot of them, some classmates that have gone into... Um, the oil and gas and all that. So you must first and foremost identify what your calling is. What is that thing that you love to do? What's that thing that you want to do? I, I, I met a doctor once that told me that he wants to just be on radio. He wants to do... I said, no, you must not come and do what I do. You can be... You can still be... A doctor on radio. You can still be a medical doctor, doctor and, then, and then you're on radio. <laughs> it's not a must you come to say you want to be a presenter. Exactly. No. You can start to teach what we don't know about X, Y, Z when it comes to health. You can come and talk about it on the radio. And then you meet someone that will tell you, yes, I'm into IT, but then that IT is so boring, I want to come on radio. You can come on radio and do your IT right. on radio. So for everyone, you must first find out what is that thing that you love to do. You cannot rule out the God factor. For, uh, sorry, apologies to those that don't believe in God, but in short, I don't owe you an, an apology. That's your business. You cannot rule out the God factor. <laughs> like, uh, fact, this program is God. So. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, no apologies, yeah? Um, that's your business. But for me, uh, um, just like um, Nice said in, in one of his songs, Street Credibility, he said, I'm on a ton by ton. Yeah. Beg Baba God make you reach your tongue. This industry I'm more plenty python. Yeah. Anyhow we go be or more just focus on your way to the top. It will take time. It will take time, but you have to be focused. If you are driven by money, that's when you have the challenge. Because when the Malachi no come, you so soon know they come, your eye go the chook. Yeah. Yes, then the next thing you don't leave the walk. Yeah. Yes. But then you learn the ropes, you learn what it takes to be. My brother, you go. So anyone out there, whether you want to be a comedian, you want to be an actor, you want to be, thank God for social media these days. We've got a lot of social media stars. They are just popular on social media. <clears throat> yes. And then thank God for social media. A lot of people have been signed from social media. A lot of people. So, come on. I will just not talk about that. No, no, no. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know why I said so? I still meet people every day and then they still tell me, a guy came to my office two, two or three days ago and then he said to me, um... Um, I used to do comedy. I used to do MC comedy before, but then I now left it um, because I got a regular job. And then um, this is um, seven years now, so I want to come back. Please help me. I said, what do you want me to do? Help you to do what? And I said, okay, um, let me see what you've done. What's your Instagram handle? He said, I'm not on Instagram. I just said... Are you ready? You're not on Instagram. Are you ready? Do you know how many stars... Instagram has, has produced so far in this, in this country. country. I will interview some as the cause of the yes. show goes by. So do you know many that are superstars only because of Instagram? Instagram. My brother, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> because I don't, where do I want to start from? You don't even have an Instagram. Uh, do you know musicians that have been signed on Instagram? Uh, actors. Actors that comedians. have been discovered on Instagram. They become social media influencers. Yes. Do you know how much they earn being social media influencers? influencers. For one post, they anyway, earn you, between you, 200 and 500K. Uh, uh, you would know. You know that's you what to, they pay them. Uh, I mean, I'm not. That's uh, what they pay them. Uh, so, uh, them. Uh, 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 look, uh, uh, camera is everywhere. Uh, 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 you think they don't know? They, 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 they don't know anything. That's what they pay them. It's, they not, know, it's not me. They know you. They know. <laughs> so, it's been great having you on 12 to 12. And I'm telling you, if we leave it, we'll be here till next week, not just tomorrow. Yo. The man yeah. I respect and appreciate. Nice to have you on 12 to 12. Oshé, yeah. thank you so, so much. My name, of course, remains Justice, the guru at Tigogo. God bless you. Real good. Uh, I'm